Welcome back to Dictating the Outcome with Charles Bartley. We're going to purposely favor the Dwiggers. And that means we are pro series, we are pro Dunkaroos, we are all down for the brews and elixirs. And I love good enchantment. All quilts must be patriotic. We are not down with hexes. Um, rubies, 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 all right, sure. And every Dwegar gets a cavern. Yeah. These propositions clearly favor the Dwegars. You've got no choice but to accept the Declaration of Dwegar Rights, Mohammed Jinibang. You agree to the terms of the negotiator. Drugs. I trust you, Barkley. I thought you were loyal to your country and family and square in school. My family? The Duegas are my family now. <laughs> Seems my trust is misplaced. We have nothing more to speak of, Charles Barkley. Barkley, come here. I know we Duegas do not have much, but I feel the need to repay you for what you've done. Just once in every Dwigger's life, he is overtaken by an urge so powerful that he cannot control himself. No, it is not an urge for Ruby's Red, as you may have guessed. It is an urge to create. Yes, we have blacksmiths and wood carvers and what have you that create on a daily basis. But this is an urge to create something more than a mere object. It is an urge to create art. This is a sacred part of every Dwegger's maturity, and when we are touched by the desire to create, all others must allow it to continue unimpeded. It is called the Awakening of the Artisan. What we create during our awakening is a work of unparalleled splendor that can never be replicated or surpassed. I want you to have the item I forged in my awakening, Charles Barkley. <laughs> Kimono. A regular kimono, except there is a picture of Shrek on it. I forged it in... I forged it tweaks the hammer and anvil. It is the one thing I am most proud of. Even more than my clan. It is yours, Charles Barkley. Take it. We got one Shrek kimonos. And one Shrek kimono piggy. Take care of it, Charles Barkley, and know that you are now a friend of the Weggers all over the globe and beyond. Aww. Oh. I'm pretty sure we don't meet any more Dweggers in the game. And what? I don't care. Um. So it's just. Yes, it is. Well, okay, Barkley dies plenty, so why not? The elderly Duaguire seems to be sleeping under a highly patriotic quilt. Let's not wake him. Yeah, in the other video we found out what he said. If you didn't watch both of them, this guy was cold and went to the quilt. This guy still says the same. I don't want to read it three times now. Do all the Dwiggers have something different to say? You need it, Dunkaroos. Or I can feel my stealth constitution come back to me after gorging on Dunkaroos. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Human! And that is something that we dwarfs who have lived in underground caverns for eons do not take lightly. Thank you. Um, same thing. You did it, my boy! My boy! You've given me back my primary form of sustenance chemicals. I've prepared you a particular brew that I think you might like. Gulp it. You might enjoy it. Okay. So, we really should have read all this stuff before we went that direction, but what are you going to do? I 
Hey, my lad, it seems you've gone and done the right thing and lifted the ban on sewers. Perhaps this old man can finally die in peace now. Die in the sewers. Great. Mm, that's all there was, is it? Right on. That should be about everything, eh? All this talk of murdering folks is reminding me. Yeah, wait. What? Have you read this? No, we haven't. The time I murdered a pygmy in the woods. You see, I was sulking about the woods when I heard the buzzing of bees above me, and so I'm fond, perhaps even overly fond, of the taste of honey. I began to climb the tree. Imagine to my surprise when I found that a pygmy had beaten me to the precious honey. Why, I was downright kicked! So I gathered up all my gumption and hit him in the liver with a magical war hammer inscribed with arcane runes of power. And oh, I never knew a pygmy could fly, but he sure did. Well, until he hit the ground. A little doing our humor, haha! <laughs> but I haven't murdered a pygmy in years. Yes. Your head is tall. Oh yeah, these are the troop mines. Oh, yeah, we, we know that. All right, we are friends with the Duegers. Don't know if that means anything. Pretty sure it doesn't do anything in the game. Uh, yeah. I'm tired. We'll continue this another day. Maybe in another month. I don't know. Thanks for watching.